Pasarla Venkata Sindhu has won medals at multiple tournaments including Olympics and on the BWF circuit including a gold at the 2019 World Championships. She is the first Indian to become the badminton world champion and only the second individual athlete from India to win two consecutive medals at the Olympic Games. She rose to a career-high world ranking of no. 2 in April 2017. Sindhu broke into the top 20 of the BWF world ranking in September 2012. At the age of 17, beginning in 2013, she won a medal at every World Championships. With the exception of 2015, she is just the second woman after Zhang Ning to win five or more medals at the World Championships. She represented India at the Olympics Rio 2016, becoming the first Indian badminton player to reach a final. She won the silver medal after losing out to Spain's Carolina Marin. She made her second consecutive Olympic appearance at the Olympics Tokyo 2020 and won a bronze medal, becoming the first Indian woman ever to win two Olympic medals. Chinese player Sun Yu has commented on Yamaguchi's style, pointing out that while small, she is diligent and runs swiftly, and she is capable of picking up the kinds of difficult shots that others are typically unable to save. Sun Yu suggested that her style of play is based upon patience and consistent performance, observing that she does not make mistakes often, and simultaneously takes advantage to score from opponents who rush and make errors. Another Chinese player, Wang Shishen, agrees that Yamaguchi is quick and nimble, and for challengers to be successful, they need to be capable of matching her speed. In 2019, Li Yongbo, head coach of the Chinese team, commented on the Japanese player. She plays with patience and quality. As to whether there is room for further development due to her short stature, I think talent in badminton is not limited by height restrictions. Her skill is more than enough to make up for her height. As for her future, we have to see how she holds up in the coming year. Nozomi Okahara is well known for her speed, agility and endurance. She won a bronze at the 2016 Summer Olympics and gold medal at the 2017 World Championships. For the final, she managed to edge a 21-19, 20-22, 22-20 victory over the Indian, Pasarla Sindhu. In one of the classics of badminton history, match stretched for 150 hours, making it the second longest match in women's singles badminton ever. Not only is the most famous tennis player of the Golden Temple country, Intanon is also one of the athletes with very good records of the Badminton World Federation BWF, because her records have not yet been achieved. Which player can break it? That is the title of the youngest female player to win the World Youth Badminton Championship. At the age of 14 years old in 2009 and the youngest athlete to win the World Championship in 2013. At 18 years, 6 months, 6 days old, she is also the first player to win 3 consecutive championships at the World Junior Badminton Championships in 2009, 2010 and 2011. The youngest athlete to reach the final of the All England Badminton Championship in 2013. Ten years of competition, Intanon has almost had the complete collection of BWF titles. China's Chen Yu Fei defeated world number one Chen beat Tai Su Ying of Taiwan 21 to 18, 19 to 21, 21 to 18 to clinch the gold medal in the women's singles badminton even at the Tokyo Olympics 2020. Chen's victory marks a return to form for Chinese women in badminton. 
they had won four straight golds in singles until Carolina Marin of Spain won at the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Games. Zhang Ning is the only female player to win consecutive Olympic singles gold medals 2004 and 2008. She has played badminton on the world scene since the mid-1990s and has been particularly successful since 2002 while in her late 20s. She is known for her consistency of shock, deception and constant pressure dictating the pace of rallies and working her opponents in all four corners of the court. She also became world champion in 2003 and has a total of five medals of all colors in the competition. Carolina Marin as an Olympic champion, three-time world champion, five-time European champion, and the former world's no. One in BWS rankings for the women's singles discipline, holding the world no. One title for 66 weeks. Widely regarded as one of the greatest female athletes in women's singles badminton. She holds the distinction of having won a medal in almost every BWF tournament along with the consecutive golds at the World Championships and the European Championships. She is known to have a strong fighting style. Her screams reverberated throughout the field, sparing opponents. Lee Shuerui was a gold medalist at 2012 London Olympics in the women's singles event and was the silver medalists in the 2013 and 2014 World Championships. Lee Shuerui won 14 Super Series titles. She reached a career high of no. One in the women's singles for 124 weeks. Wang Yahan has been ranked number one in the world for a long time and is considered a successful symbol of Chinese badminton. In 2016, Wang announced her retirement from professional badminton. Wang had a very illustrious career. She has won 30 singles titles, including four Super Series Premier titles, 15 Super Series titles, and one Super Series Finals title.
started playing professionally in 2009 when only 15 years old, but Tai Su Ying showed her as a talented player like. In just three years, she rose to the top 10 in the world. And now, she is the best badminton player in the world. Tai plays an offensive game. With many calling her style unpredictable and often spontaneous. She is a very adventurous player with a disguised nature of shots. Seemingly able to hit the shuttle from just about anywhere with a great range of shots and angles. Also remarkable is her very relaxed hitting action. Tai's prodigious talent and deceptive shot making has earned compliments of many. Including BWF commentator Jillian Clark, who often compliments her talented shot making and has said that Tai is one of the best players too. Watch in women's singles. 